It's me. So, I'm going to talk to you about my tattoos. Um, because I don't want to keep doing videos and you see my tattoos and not knowing what they're about or what they mean or because I know a lot of people are against tattoos and good for them like that's fine but me and my family we love tattoos my partner loves tattoos and for us it's a way of expressing ourselves so we instead of drawing a picture or I don't know just buying something that we can put in the room maybe we'll just get a tattoo like it's it's something different um so I have quite a few I think one two three four five six seven eight eight nine maybe eight or nine so I start off with the ones I got for my partner so I got this one let me try it says bread um I got that last year I think um sometime we've not been together like major long but I know he's the one so that's why I wanted to get the tattoo and he will get my name but when he wants to and then we got another one together I'll try and show it the ones I can't show like on camera now I'll take a picture and I'll add it into the video but we both got this it's a funny story I designed this tattoo I wanted the love heart with the B because my name's my name's Rebecca but everyone calls me Beck or Becky. Um his name's Brett obviously so it's B B and we call each other baby or babe so it's all B's. So I wanted the love heart and the B. And then he added like the flick to it and things like that. Let me give you a close up. And then we get it done, both of us. So we both got it in the same place. place. Mine's a bit further up than what his is. Um, but yeah, we then find out that I didn't design it because it actually is a uh, Victoria Beckham. But we don't really care. We wanted it, so say what we want, basically. Um, I think that's the only title I've got really for, for him. And then I have... Oh, upside down. Dad. And Mum. I got Mum and Dad because... They're my Mum and Dad. They are still alive. Like, they are still here. So... But I wanted to get them because... I love my parents, obviously, and... It was at the, at the time, I was only young when I got them, but at the time, it was a way of showing them that I appreciate what they do for me and I love them and they're on my body. Like, they know mum and dad are on my body forever, basically. Um. So, yeah, I got them for my mum and dad. Now, the next tattoo, I can't show you on camera, but I'll insert a picture now. Um, I got a dream catcher, as you can see. If you look, I'm going to try and do it without showing you all the mess. If you look in my bedroom, look up there. I've got a big one there. I've got a little one. I don't know if you can see it. At the top, my nieces bought me a dream catcher. And then over on the other side, I've got like two more little dream catchers. One pink and one blue. Um... I love dream catchers. Oh, pardon me. And 
I do believe what they say, if you have a dream catcher above your bed and things like that, then it catches the bad dreams and lets the good dreams through, things like that. So I, I, I like them. So instead of me getting a tattoo that doesn't mean something, all my tattoos mean something. I'm not one of them people that, again, it's not... People can get what they want tattooed on them. But I like my tattoos to mean something to me. I don't want to just go into a shop and say, right, I want that tattoo. For no point. For no, like, no reason. So, that's that. Um, my next tattoo I'm going to show you. There's three for one person. Um, sadly, when I was seven years old, I lost my brother. I'm not going to go into all the details now, but maybe in the future, if you want to know the story and things like that, maybe I can elaborate on it a little bit. But for now, I don't really want to. Um, most of you probably know anyway, for the people who know me and know my family and things like that. But my next tattoo is this one. So it says, the scars you can't see are the hardest to heal with my brother's date of birth to the day that he died now the reason I got the scars you can't see are the hardest to heal because is, is I didn't make the saying up I saw it on the internet but it is because you can you can fall over or you can cut your knee yeah you might get a scar or I think something like that but to me losing my brother is a scar that will never heal it's a scar that you can't see but it it won't heal. It will never heal. I also got his name on my finger. His name's Gary, so I got Gary on my finger. I'm not the only one that got Gary on my finger. Um, my two other brothers got Gary on their fingers. And my mum and dad also got Gary on their finger. Um, it's something we've done, obviously not all at the same time, because when... My mum and dad got theirs, or when my older brother got his, I was probably only about 14 at the time. I did get my own tattoo done before legal age, but that's because I really wanted it done, and my mum and dad could tell how much I wanted it done, and how I was, I've always been, I wouldn't say like proper mature for my age, but losing my brother kind of made me grow up in a sense and other like situations within the family made me grow up to a point where I was ready to get a tattoo and from then on I just carried on getting them once maybe twice a year um my next tattoo for Gary is this one it says your wings were ready but my heart was not and then it's got a little feather because obviously the feather symbolizes if you see a white feather go past you or fly by you then it means that the person that you've lost is there and things like that so having a feather on my body means to me that my brother is always there and he flew to heaven and he was he must have, he was ready he was ready to go to heaven and but my heart was in my family's hearts was in um i don't know if it's this side so the next tattoo i don't know if it's this side let me show you both sides i'm not sure nope so this is i don't know if you can see it i don't want to show my ear is my next tattoo so you might think oh why does that mean something? Well, it means something to me and my mum because we've had that done twice. We both got the exact same tattoo. Um, my mum has been going through a really rough time, obviously, since losing my brother. My dad's been going through a really rough time after losing my brother. My whole family has. And my mum and me wanted to do something together to always have that we we have such a strong bond 
and nothing will ever change that. I've moved out, but I still go around there a lot and we just have a laugh as you see on our videos and things like that. So it is nice to, I like the fact that we have got a tattoo, matching tattoo, um, because I love my mum so much. But yes, we both got the same one. But the first time we got it done, funny story. Uh, sorry. The first time we got it done, it was actually... I'll try and find a picture of it and I'll try and insert it now. Um, it looked like a spider in a spider's web. That's what it looked like. So then when I got my tattoo on my arm that says the scars you can't see are the hardest to heal, the man that done my tattoo on that arm also changed the tattoo on my ear, behind my ear and done my mum's behind her ear. Um, so yeah, I think that's all my tattoos. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think it is. I don't have any more. I will get more. I want quite a few more. Because I know what I want and things like that. But obviously, I'm still young. I'm only 22. So, I've got my whole life. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, add me on all that good stuff down there in the description. Bye.